Hey guys, Coach Michelle with Michelle Vasquez Fitness here. And today's topic in the sugar trap is all about the breakup. So ladies, go put on your sexy red lips and kiss that sugar goodbye. Now, when I say break up with sugar, I don't mean like take the sweetness out of your life because I have a massive sweet tooth. And I'm sorry, but there's no way I can drink black coffee. It's just not going to happen. But instead of sugar or those um, alternatives like the pink, blue, and yellow stuff, use stevia. You can use pure honey. So they're all alternatives, you know, to the sugar. Um, Same thing with like pancakes. Um, Of course, you still want to go with like moderation. But instead of buying that syrup, you need to buy pure maple syrup. Because all that other stuff that says syrup, it's, it's not syrup. So you want to stay away from that. So today's um, blog is going to have some tips for you guys to break up with sugar. One thing, um, which was a big thing for me, if you drink soda, you're just going to have to stop. You got to cut out that soda. I'm not saying for the rest of your life, but if you're addicted to soda like I was, you need to just keep it out of the house. Um, And that's that's some good tips just for anything on your list of stuff that you cannot resist the temptation I have a list of foods that are not allowed in my house and if you saw my post earlier pop tarts is at the top of that list because I had a massive pop tart craving with Joshua you know I wasn't paying attention to the labels I wasn't reading yeah my husband loves soda too beside us he pep there's Pepsi in the refrigerator right now but luckily can resist the soda like it doesn't bother me but there was a point in time that I could not have soda in the house because I couldn't resist it I had to just break up with it I had to get rid of it I couldn't have it in the house now I'm okay with it but there are things that I'm not okay with like cake and cookies and cookie dough that stuff I cannot have that in the house so if there's anything that um you know, if you have food addiction or you're an emotional eater like I am, you know, there's going to be certain things you just want to keep out of the house. Now, maybe at some point in time, you'll be okay with them like I am now with the soda, but just keep them out of the house for now. Don't buy them, don't bring them in the house, and you won't be tempted. Another tip, like I said before, is read those labels. You want to see what's in a lot of sugar just by reading the labels and going for more whole foods and stay away from processed stuff. Um, if juice and go for fresh fruit because that's way better than juice Um, so there's a lot of things that you can do to start reducing your sugar intake um, and switching things out you know you can use like almond milk in your in your coffee Um, they do have almond milk creamer now but still with moderation you know you still want to keep a big thing is I switch to stevia so I don't use sugar like in my coffee or anything at all I just use stevia so there's some tips that I'm gonna post um, in the blog today hopefully you guys will check it out and let me know post below what what are the things that you yeah coconut milk's good what are the things that you can't resist or what have been able to break up with so far or something you need to break up with post in the comments I want to see it